beauties. As you can see, I've got a special guest here. Guess who? It's me. <laughs> you guys already know her. So she's um, from Coffee and Cashmere, and we've actually um, been talking about a collab for like ever. And we filmed <laughs> one, and it just never came out. And like she went back to Australia, and I stayed in New York. Yeah. yeah. But now we're finally reunited. Basically, we went to Club Cleo's pre-launch because Felicia got invited, and then she decided to take me. I feel special. And so we got a bunch of products that we really didn't need, <laughs> but we won. So we decided to do a try on of all these random things that yeah. we bought. And so we thought you guys might enjoy this. So let's use this. Okay, it's their BB cushion. And I was actually talking to like one of our Korean friends today and she's Korean. <laughs> wow. <No. laughs> And she said, um, Club Cleo. Oh my god, look at the oh bag! Oh my god, it's so pretty! This looks like Kim K's oh yeah, the, beauty line. The, the nude yeah, like, yeah. thing that, yeah. Or even um, Rihanna's Bandy, packaging. Yeah. yeah, everything's all about this like paint yeah. stuff. So it comes with, this is the refill, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then, whoa, it's so pretty! I hope this is the right color. Okay, what shade is this? It's not gonna be the right color. Oh, it's 4B. Four sounds like a big number. I think that's like a big <laughs> No, it went from one, two, three, four. It looks like a honeycomb. Like a beehive. And right? there's this like sticky residue. Okay, and then I'm going to dabba dabba dabba. So Ew, I'm so shiny. You did not tell me I look like such a mess. <laughs> Just how yes. someone who does not have their life together looks like. Oh no, it's still really white. Wow, but it's close. This by far is the wrong color, but it's okay, we can make it work. Okay, yeah. so when you have a foundation that's beyond <laughs> way too light, like this case right now, then um, what can you do, Mia? Tell them. Oh, you can obviously use a darker powder over it. Okay, you can so actually just use like bronzer yeah. around the outside, and then you leave like the highlighted areas white. So then you just skip a step, ultimately. They had, when we were like looking at the store, they had these cute little Macron blenders. Yeah, look how cute they are. So this is pink and that's like the turquoise one. Boing, boing, boing. This is like a huge powder. Yeah. It's called the Self-Balanced Face Powder. Oh, so this one came with a puff. What? Why is there nothing oh, in there? Oh, so that one, you can put this one in here and then you can like... Ah, uh, like a refill! It away with you. Wow. Okay, so because this is like for home. Yeah, you know? and this is for like travel. So you have your own little yeah. place thing. This is for your, wait, what is this? Oh, so just it's, scoop it inside. Right, you wanna try? Okay. It's funny because like you think a lot of, like just because we do makeup that we always have makeup on, but that is the biggest lie of all. On the days that we don't film, we look like wreckages. This could be like a bonding, like, bonding activity you do with your friends and family. <laughs> Oh, Whoa. wow! <laughs> <laughs> so normally you bake with like a yellow powder, Yeah, right? then so you bake with a purple powder. Okay, <laughs> what's like the most um, embarrassing makeup or like makeup fail? Have you ever? Um, yeah, when I put contour on my face and didn't blend it out, remember? Dude, I did that too. <laughs> Thoughts on this powder? I really like it. Actually, I've never used a purple powder. It's like unicorn powder. I got the Ink Brow Tattoo Gel. On here, they have soft arch eyebrow, flat eyebrow, natural eyebrow. Let's do soft arch. Whoa, it's not a pen. What is that? It's like a brush. Oh, oh, how to click. That must mean it's ah! See what I mean? <laughs> what I mean? It always oh my god, up. it's Brack. This looks like a Sharpie pen. Oh no, it's it's dark brown. Okay, okay. Right. Okay, it just looks very intimidating. I don't so, know whether to trust it or not. Okay, let's just try it. Oh my, oh my god! god. <laughs> on your skin. Dude, I thought this was a freaking pencil. I got no, the wrong no thing. No wonder it's so dark. It's one of those things that you can peel it off. Oh, no wonder it was flaking off. Oh. It looks like there's a cockroach on my brow. <laughs> I got this uh, micro professional lip and eye remover, and the reason why I got this is because it has like this push button thing. Ooh! And it's oil and water, so which I'm, which we know will remove waterproof. So basically, just push down, and it comes comes out. And I'm just gonna remove that 
color off this brow stencil. We're just going to cover and smother this. I guess this will be easier to use than the other ones, because that one was more like a, like a concealer tube, whereas this is more like a roll pen. Oh, wow. Oh. Guys, look at that. And then? And then you just take this stencil off. This is called Speedy Brow. It makes it look more voluminous, right? Yeah. Voluminous. 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 Your hands okay. smell. So I hope it's one. Wait, it tattooed my entire, like, <laughs> forehead! <laughs> okay, now I'm going to proceed to wipe it off. If it's waterproof and tattoo, I'm screwed. I don't know, it's coming off. While she's fixing her brows, the only eyeshadow that we both collectively got was this <laughs> Prism Air. Not Be fun. more coral! I'm just gonna apply this with my fingers. It goes on really nice, it's quite buttery, and it blends really well. Okay, so for eyeliner, you got the, uh, this was really good. The brush was like a brush pen mm. and it was very fine. It like drew a very precise line and you got it in brown. Yeah, because brown's more natural. You can use it every day. And then I'm gonna try <laughs> this waterproof gel liner and it's in black. Mmm, I am liking this eyeliner. Yeah. It's very black and it's very smooth. Like it doesn't skip on the eyelids. What do you think about the pen? This is really pretty. Yeah, it was quite easy to draw. So we're gonna go in with this waterproof long and curl fix mascara. I picked this one up because one is waterproof and I only use waterproof. Do you use waterproof? Yeah, because otherwise it, your lashes plop. Yeah, like the waterproof formulas have more like waxy mm -hmm. texture in it or like formula and so it holds the curl, especially if you have short non-existent lashes. And this one is interesting because it came with two things. Um, so this is the black mascara, and then this is apparently the mascara remover. When we were at the store, I chose this one over that other one because it had little fibers in it and the fibers help like extend your lashes. So one side's got like little combs, mm -hmm. which means it combs through the lashes, which gives you separation. Mm -hmm. And then the other side is where you apply the fibers, which makes them longer. Okay, so that's like two billion coats later. Okay. So you can't even see them. <laughs> it's like hidden underneath. <laughs> it's like crocodiles. You know how crocodiles have two <laughs> eyelids? When they close, it's like... <laughs> And then they're underwater or whatever, and then it's like... <laughs> Let's break it up a little. I actually got this hair mist, and you got a body wash. I found this Sculpt Clear scent stick, and I was like, what the heck is this? <laughs> so the only English on the back said, Healing Birds Scalp Clear Stick Scent. Okay, and then it was like, <laughs> refreshing 10 second scalp shower, available anytime. Shake this product for five to 10 minutes, or no, times before use and then part your hair that where your scalp is visible. I think any part of your scalp is pretty much visible. But mm -hmm. anyways, um, use a cotton swab and rub the product into the scalp back and forth and then your hair is perfectly dry and like you've had a shower. So I purposely didn't wash my hair last night so I can try this. I'm gonna try the fig. <laughs> okay, while you do that, I got this um, essential hair mist. And you know when you go to like Korean barbecue and you smell like Korean barbecue <laughs> afterwards? I thought this would be really cool to just like have around in the bag. Oh um, and it's in cherry blossom and peach. Ooh, it's like a really fine mist. Oh, look how big this is. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Just rub it back and forth like I have some sort of scalp problem. Like you just don't care. Okay, so it just makes your like scalp wet. Wet. <laughs> okay, now part. This is the strangest product <laughs> ever. Who really has time for this? <laughs> <laughs> you just might as well go shower. <laughs> but this is the fun part. It's going to use some mm. lip products. Yes. I had bought this one, which Felicia said that the thing is for this tint, which is like a, it's called Perry's Ink Velvet. There's only like two or three shades that I can really actually wear and not look like a clown. <laughs> so I got this like peachy one. I got Mellow Rose, which is like a mauvey pink. Mm. And then it's like this one, Central Pepper, which is more of a reddish, like terracotta. 
And then... And then... Oh, lip oil! I should use the lip oil on my thing. Okay, so this is the first non-matte lipstick I picked up. Oh my god, and all their oh, packaging wow. is really cute! Okay, so you have like an orange and I have a pinky. So we're gonna put this on our cheeks. So let's see how this lip oil looks on the cheek. Wow. Oh, it's pretty. This is actually a pretty nice color. Yeah, you could, you could actually totally use that as a like a blush. It has that like nice sort of glow as well, like this natural luminosity. Voila! I picked the boldest color there was, which yeah. is called Brick Orange. Mm -hmm. And because it's a tint, I'm just gonna apply it to the center of my lips and then. Oh, yeah, too late. Okay. It's really. Whoa! <laughs> that is neon. That is like a. Like... <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have words. So mine's in Celeb Deep Rose. And I think it's a really. Well, I hope it's a really pretty color. It's like a fall winter shade. But the reason why I picked it was because it, it had this like mousse kind of mm. um, consistency. It definitely feels really comfortable on the lips, like it's really soft and velvety. Mm. Okay, this compared to yours <coughs> is very muted. Well that's nice too. It's like a it's like a um, brownie brownie red. I thought it was gonna be more red actually. It's gonna be more deep. Yeah. I tried on like a few on my lips and then when I washed all my makeup off, it was still there at night. In conclusion, what was your favorite product that you tried today? Definitely the brow tattoo. Nothing has been able to like give me such entertainment on my face for such a very long period of time. <laughs> I feel like I've fallen back in love with makeup. <laughs> Thank you, tattoo eyebrows. All right, then what's your least favorite? I guess I don't enjoy the foundation because it's too dewy and it's too white. <laughs> but I do appreciate that it was SPF 50 because mm -hmm. that's crazy. For me, I think my favorite would be the eyeshadow, which is this one. Right. Because that was that's like a color that I think mm, anyone can anyone wear. could use pretty much. And then my least favorite. This was just confusing. Like I feel like I okay. mean, the concept it. is great, like you know, to refresh the hair, but but I like the name. It's a healing bird scalp clear <laughs> scent. Um, okay, so I did get a bunch of other like eye creams, um, milk cleansers, liquids. Um, I got this whole moisture gel cream set. So I also and... got some lip oil, which is just basically lip oh, yeah. oil. The reason why I got it was because it was so pretty. Look at the size of the dope. It's not a dope, it's a giant foot. All in all, we're pretty happy with what we got. So thank you guys. I hope you guys find this enjoyable. If you like this kind of video, make sure you hit the thumbs up and go check out Felicia's channel because she does a lot of cool things. Send her some love. And if you actually have tried Cleo, please recommend some products to us yeah. and tell us what we should be buying. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!